So right now we we have a model, but you can see that all the model actually right now created with the different uh, objects. You can see here is the name, and if you will use this button from over here, you can just uh, have a liar box. I will just move it in the left part of the screen to, to work with it like this so right now we have a lot of different objects with the uh, strange name locks so uh, the first thing what I need to do is to attach everything in the one object to do that uh, we need to use that attach button from the edit geometry uh, basically it doesn't matter which object you will use from start for example I can attach the whole body of the building to the window and to another part so I just press here to attach button and just attach I'll not attach it objects here like that so now you can see that I have um, all the I'll let building in one object let's give a name like a building to that object and now we can see that our object actually is placed it in the center and that's it uh, this is what we need to have for the beginning another thing what could be uh, better for the texturing is to just delete all the not used elements for example these uh, polygons which should be placed on the ground we will never see it in the sand because in, this, in the sand we will see only that part of the building but what we have here we never will see in, in the sand so uh, if we will delete all of those polygons we will just save a space for texturing to put uh, better quality to it so basically I can delete also that polygons and from the ladder clear here so um, after we prepare that model for unwrapping then we will go here into modifier list and just select the unwrap UVW modifier and now if we will go inside we will see that everything right now unwrap it not really correctly so our main job for today should be to unwrap all these details correctly and to place it in this uh, square in the middle of the edit2v's uh, window uh, so as I said before this square here represent the place where actually I'll texture will go so the texture will go here and everything should be placed here correctly to put the, the images on that and to texture everything as we want the texture so to, to make a good unwrap it's good to have actually our uh, concept art somewhere just to to see uh, the different parts of, of our building I will just uh, use only one image as a reference for example this one and now I will just use this tool uh, do you remember that if uh, we will use that checkbox in the preserve UV then we can just move the edge and see 
what we have on the texture if we will uncheck that box we just scale down that image with the model so basically right now we see the whole object with the texture how it will looks like and now I can see that for example the roof have uh, two parts for example this one part is um, wooden and on top of that part we have a uh, red bricks uh, red roofing bricks on top of it uh, also I see that uh, I forgot to model last time these two parts for our model let's just complete that first to, to just have everything uh, what we have on the concept I think this is necessary to have a pipe and uh, another window on the roof maybe it it give a little bit of interesting uh, details on, on our model so yeah the roof and the pipe here basically what I could do here I can just use the box and again if you will use this auto grid checkbox you can model on top of the concept hmm. Strange. It doesn't work here uh, hmm. I think it's a kind of it should work but yeah I if you, if you have the same issue you can just uh, create this pipe somewhere on the ground first and then just move it in the place where it should be place it uh, so basically yeah here we can just adjust the size of that pipe how it will be placed here like this and yeah uh, if you will use a uh, alt x if you remember it could give you a chance to see through through your model to just maybe fix a little bit the size yeah let's do it that way uh, i will just make it a little bit bigger here and let's put the same sizes for the weight length and width like this so i convert everything to the polygon again now i just uh, extrude you can see that if i extrude from that square here you have a an option to fix the size of extrusion and there is another option if you just extrude like this you can just uh, use your mouse to extrude whatever you like so I extrude that polygon maybe it will be better to put this edge a little bit uh, more higher so I will just drag to the Z axis for that so now I will extrude it uh, in another way like that so if I will just select all the polygons around that uh, box and now I will use the extrude can see that extrusion will go not correctly and here uh, you can find a different type of extrusion so basically I need to extrude it uh, for as a normal 
so if you will extrude it as a normal you can see that it will extrude from all the sides uh, and it, it, it it's really helpful to, to just adjust everything for a concept yeah uh, so okay I agree with that size right now and now we can see that this part is uh, a little bit smaller I can just use this uh, scale tool to scale it down a little bit and let's extrude it here okay I will show you another way how to extrude this part here uh, basically we already know that method basically if you if you will just select one edge and use a ring you can see that uh, all that all those edges will select it uh, around the, uh, around the box and now if they are, are selected you need to make sure that all that edges will highlight it with the red color so basically if they are selected then you will use just this connect button here that will give uh, edge around around our object and now if you will just switch to from the scale to the movement you can just move it to adjust the size now when we are happy with this part we just select all the polygons around and now we will use extrude again and you can see that extrusion will sh should uh, save your previous option and now we can just scale down it a bit like that so i think this should be enough for that pipe and let's make maybe just a small hole here you don't need to make uh, this hole uh, really big because it's not necessary for us we will just add a black color here to to show like we have some uh, depth in the pipe so basically yeah that should be enough for us and yeah uh, I think the pipe is ready right now and we can switch to that uh, another window I will just try again to model it on the on that plane but I, I don't know why it actually don't work maybe if I will select it and now go here no hmm, this is really strange because it should work yeah I, I remember that the the, from the previous lesson there was the same issue for that I'm not sure why it don't, doesn't work but okay we will model it again on the ground now I can just move it manually and place it over here now let's unhide our building and also we can if if you can select your building and use a alt x button you can see through the model now we will just move it a little bit over here maybe uh, a little bit more here because we need to uh, put it inside the roof yeah it doesn't matter if we will just go uh, outside of the concept art because for us it's not really important to create everything the same position it as we have on a concept we, we will just use it as a reference to, to understand Basic basics of the modeling how 
how usually models modeling by from the blueprints but we didn't use a blueprint because the blueprints usually have much more um, complex details and we re really don't have a time to model everything in a really detailed forms so yeah uh, if you just select only two edges and use here connect button you can see that we will connect these two edges right now uh, it's okay to connect it like that but if you will just try to measure amount of vertexes verticals here you can see that we have one two three four five verticals this is not right actually for a 3d modeling uh, we always should have not more than four verticals actually so basically we will just select uh, these two verticals and use a connect button here to connect those and the same over here and for now we can delete this polygon from here that means that we don't need to connect that verticals if, if you have a hole somewhere this is doesn't matter how many verticals you have in the place where you have a hole in your model so basically uh, your window on the roof should be looks like this okay so i'm happy with that forms right now and now i just create a roof here so once again i will just select these two polygons over here now i just detach it and i will detach it not as an element and not as a clone just as a uh, just as a whole object for example if i select this polygon and detach it i will show you i will give a name as a small roof here and now if we will go out from the polygon mode to the object mode you can see that if we will move that roof it will be represented as a new object here so and if you remember something from the last lecture we use it uh, the shell modificator oops sorry shell modificator to add a depth for it so basically this is really cool to have a simple uh, mode to create the, the depth for it your object and if you will go from the shell to editable poly you can see that shell will not work correctly to see how the shell actually work you need to use that button here and now with uh, if you will press that button and keep it active you can just move the parts of your roof to adjust everything to the concept art and another thing what I want to see let, let's just turn off the shell because we, it's not important for us to, to see what we will have in the end basically it's mo much more important to see it in the end of that action so I want to make this uh, roofing places just a little bit more rounder and to do that I just select two edges use a connect to have a edge here the same thing with that part and now if I will just move and drag this part you can see that we can just make it just a little bit rounder now i will show you another interesting 
tool to add more uh, polygons for to, to make this uh, roundness a little bit more rounder basically the thing is we will just select this two edges here and over here you should have in the edit edges uh, tab you, you should have a chamfer here if you will press here by default it should add only uh, two more edges like this but if you will use that chamfer tool by pressing on the setting button over here you can see there is a lot of different options so for example you can add more edges like that you can just scale it up and down but for us I believe that only one iteration should be enough yeah, to make it rounder so okay let's just Oh, sorry I forgot to to press here I, if you will do something here you will need to press on that checkbox to finish this now I will just uh, use the shell option again and now you can see that we already have uh, the roof more rounder than it is before uh, now we have a small holes here I will just just select, select these two edges and just put it a little bit uh, higher so now I will just move this uh, box with the window a little bit inside to have that space here and about the roof we will just use the verticals to, to put our small roof inside the big roof now i will just use the alt x button on our main building to see how our small window will fit here and now when i'm happy with that i can just add this small window here i suggest that oops suggest that it should be really easy to add it yeah you can see right now this thing it work actually maybe it work only if you use a editable poly option here yeah but I have editable poly here also okay so let's not distract from our modeling stuff yeah I will add here a window I will use the same window as we have here maybe uh, because we have slightly different window here but I not really like how to model it inside I, I suggest to do just a frame here as we do before because as you can see we have here uh, edges and it's uh, it should be a slightly uh, hard to extrude this polygon because it's not uh, clear yeah so basically if we will have here this frame in the middle let's convert it in the polygons now again not extrude the first thing is to use an inset to make a frame weight now just extrude it like this and that should be enough so okay looks like we are finished with everything I not really like that uh, we have a weight of this wooden part of, of the window a little bit bigger here than here I suggest to just add more weight 
to, to that frame over here like that to make uh, all the details in one style actually So yeah, and uh, another thing, what I need to do, I, I just want to delete this uh, back polygon from that window. Also, I suggest that we have the same back polygon of the window over here also. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to select something behind and to select something behind your object you just need to use this hide unselected option and now you can see what we have behind the polygon and i will just delete it like this and to see it back you just use this unhide button this is hide and unhide option for the polygons actually you can just select for example one polygon and hide it and hide all and there is another option to hide all the object like this you can just hide the whole object yeah so now let's attach everything like this and now you can see that we have a have all the buildings already created so basically I feel like all the details is over here is in the place oh, maybe only one thing I just forgot to do is to add uh, this small wooden part as we have on this roof I will just copy that wooden part from over here ah, okay I forgot to mention how I have done that so basically if you will just press and hold shift and use for example rotation or movement or scale button with the shift you can just oops, sorry you can just hmm. Why doesn't it strange it works with the rotation but it it should work also with the movement too so if you will just press on the shift and use this rotation button you can see that we we have a duplicate of our uh, polygons created here so i just uh, have this uh, wooden part created from that wooden part because it's much easier sometimes to create something to reuse some elements which we know is pretty the same just resize it a little bit like that let's put it over here and place it over here okay to make it a little bit more interesting I will just add it inside of the roof and yeah that's it so right now I feel like our building is ready for texturing and to texture it actually we need to provide a uh, UV coordinates and to adjust all the meshes for the UV we just need to use a unwrap UVW uh, modifier this one now you can see that we have a lot of strange objects here which is not looks very well basically the first thing what I wanted to to add here is to add a checker box for our model to see how the checker actually scale it how everything looks on texture so as you remember we will just uh, use a 
material and assign here oh sorry not, not here uh, over here uh, here you should have a standard shader selected and in the diffuse map you just need to add a checker box it should be in a general tab over here you can see in the general tab there is a checker it doesn't matter what type of material you have I believe that in any type of uh, shaders there should be something like a checker so let's put it on our model it could be put it like drag and drop or if you already select your object you can just use that button to assign material to your model so now if I will use that little button with the checker on it you can see how the checker will go to our model and now we can see that everything is unwrapped not really clearly some checker is scaled a little bit more than we expect actually and our next job should be to create the, the uh, clear UV map for everything so basically yeah we will select the roof as the first thing like this and let's just let's maybe not to use not use this button here if you unselect it you can see that you can just select polygons one by one like that now when I select all of those polygons I can use uh, this plus over here to add more selections like this and the minus to remove the selection it's really useful if you need to select something and you don't know how and you don't want to spend time to select it one by one sometimes it's really useful just to use this plus or minus to select so when I select this part of our building I will just use a flatten mapping okay I will just show a little bit a little bit more clear what I have done here if you will go here and use a flatten mapping all the polygons will be uh, created as they uh, with with the sizes with the, with the I don't know how to explain it actually <laughs> you can see the form of that polygon over here and you, if you will use the flatten it will be unwrapped with the same form but I feel like I'm not really happy with that uh, unwrap right now now I just wanted to use uh, maybe uh, another tool to unwrap that roof and here we can see there is a pelt map option so if you will use a pelt it will be uh, just scale up everything without uh, uh, so it, it will be not it, it will not uh, break all the verticals which is connected if we will use the flatten it sometimes it cut some polygons but we I want to have this roof as a one object so we will use this start belt and now you can see that it still looks not really cool at all the, the squares here is not really clear and yeah the checker is not enough to, to see how the how everything works to 
to make the checker smaller actually we will just need to add here on the tiling a little bit more numbers for example if we we'll use a 20 to 20 checker tiling you can see that checker looks much more smaller and it's easier to understand everything so when I unwrap that part of the roof I just go here and use relax to make it more straight so yeah now you can see that not everything looks really well for me now I need to, to see one by one where I have a problems for example here I have a slightly stretched polygons I will just select those polygons maybe detach it from here you can use uh, drop down menu by pressing the right my mouse button here and here is a break button after you use a break button now you can just use a relax from the tools to rela relax it a little bit and now you can see because the form is slightly curved we need to relax it to make our uh, checker more close to, to the squares so right now you can see that this part is okay now we will go to that part again I just break it from that menu or I'm not sure which version you have but usually uh, Ctrl D should work the same way so uh, I using this uh, relax tool again from the tools relax this window should be appeared here we just need to select the relax by polygons and it should be set it up by default and now I can just use the start relax like that let's just check how our checker will looks like yeah I'm happy with that and uh, so looks like something happens here yeah? you don't see my screen okay and yeah looks like something happened here I will try to, to figure out what happened maybe I will just try to refresh 